Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sunday League Football with ourselves, Sporting Continental. We are finally back. Happy New Year to everyone joining us or everyone rejoining us. I won't keep going on for too long. New Year, let's just get straight into it. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, leave a comment down below, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter and let's have a look at how we lined up for this game. So as always for us this season, in goal, number one, none other than Fash Ibrahimi. Backline unchanged from our defeat against City East. We've got Daniel Grant right back, Mons and Juppy centre back, and Joe Bailey playing his second ever game at left back. In the middle of the park, we've got Luis Enriquez, we've got Aidan Culver, and in the 10, we've got Sir Dan Hughes. Forward line on the right, we've got none other than Darren returning. On the left, the skipper Matt Drage, and up front is Todd Joyce. We do have a full bench today. Shame on everyone for not turning up last week, by the way. We've got Hugo, we've got Sammy, we've got Terry, and we've got Vijay. That is a toxic looking bench, by the way. And the gaffer is Joe and Jup. Okay, so today's opponents are Parklife FC. This is their first team. They do have a B team that we've played against in the past. But this team are currently in the Premier Division and as we kick off this game they currently sit top of that division a division that we hope we will be a part of next season is looking very very likely to be fair so these are the teams that we're looking to be competing against we're expecting a tough game so we're gonna have to be on it from the start especially knowing that a win today will see us through to the next round of the Frank Blunston Cup a competition that we lost last year to the eventual winners we actually lost quite early on so we're looking to progress a little bit further this year round new format group stages a bit champions league style but only one game played instead of two so let's get on with the action then as park life come forward here the balls played into the feet of the skipper and he sets this one back into the center back and he looks to turn it gets to the number 22 number 22 into the nine the number nine is going to look here for the free who's made a run out wide darren's tracked him there and the free is going to do a sammy and run off the pitch with the ball here we go then and it's fast with the ball in his hand and he goes long looking for darren darren controls it and turns no pressure here todd makes a run on the outside darren reverses it to him todd gets the ball into the box it's a miss hit clearance there's a good chance here for darren early on at the edge of the box he shoots it's a good block there by rob holding for park life darren controls it plays it out to todd again todd is going to lift this one looking for a cross rob holding there again to head it only as far as todd todd lifts it is headed clear to the edge of the box to lewis lewis has a shot and rob holding is there again that's three blocks for him Ball with the park life centre back and he rolls it out a little bit too wide there for the number five. He's going to do well to keep this one on and play it forward to the feet of the 11. Joe is out there up against him. Good to see Drage working hard from the front. Number 11 turns inside and he's going to play a ball over the top, over the right, looking for the run of number 16. He has a shot from wide. That one's not going to trouble Fash. Fash with the ball in his hands here, 6 minutes 30 seconds into the game. He's going to roll this one out to Juppie. Juppie's going to play it forward to Drage. Drage is going to take a heavy first touch, but then recover well by telling this guy to close them. He's then going to look to play it forward. And Hugo's got a death wish. Shut up! Hey, Darren, go! Darren, Darren, Darren! What? Darren! <laughs> good to see hugo quickly come into his senses meanwhile park life come forward over the far side no pressure on this guy he puts a cross into the box and is headed but it's going to be picked up easily by fash once again he's going to look to get us on the break very quickly here looking for the run of todd but guess who's there again post up rob holding this guy's had a very good game so far you remember them three pound footballs from sports direct this was everyone's reaction Throw for us over the far side. Joe and Aiden are going to work it out well. Ball played into Drage. Drage plays it into Dan, who seems to have the freedom of the park in there. He reverses it out to Aiden, who's carried on his run. He squares the first time to Todd. Is this number one? And he's put that wide. Todd Joyce. 
Are you alright, bro? Let's have another look. The ball goes out here to Aiden. It's a good pass. Good first touch, to be fair. Second, not so much. It's better from us. Made a few passes there. Parklife looking to get him behind. Mon slips, but Juppie is there to recover. And he covers that one well. And he's going to drive inside here. And he's going to set this one off into the feet of Dan. Dan sets it back to Lewis. Lewis plays it forward into Aiden. Aiden plays it out wide into Drage. Drage getting some support in the overlap in the form of Joe. Joe's going to gallop forward here and he's going to play it into Dan who is out wide. Good movement, good counter-attack, good break from us. He squares it into the box and it's Lewis on the side four. Oh my God, that's gone into the top corner. What a finish that is. It's a very good goal all around. But Lewis, what a great finish. I would love to show you it from this angle, but this happened. No, I'm joking. Let's just flip it over and let's have a worm's eye view of the goal as the ball gets worked wide. It ends up with Dan. Todd makes a good run inside here, taking the defender away from Lewis. Lewis just sides foots that one into the top corner. Keeper stood absolutely no chance. It's a very well worked goal. But look at that. Controlled side foot finish into the top corner. 1 0 to us with a brilliant counter attacking goal. You ever seen N'Golo Kante play left back? It would actually look like this. So it's Park Life on the ball as they come forward on this near side. The ball's going to end up here with this guy. He's going to skip past Danny. Danny recovers well, forces him back, but he gets across into the box. The striker was always stretching for that, and it goes out for a goal kick to us. It's the Park Life number seven on the ball, and he tries to play it through into the number nine. But it's intercepted by Juppie. Juppie's going to clear this one forward. A bit of afters there, but the referee lets the game play on. By the way, this ref is a very good referee. We've had him a couple of times. He's been good every time. Anyway, Drage on the ball. Dan flicks it back to Lewis. Lewis sets it to Drage. Drage first time into Darren. What a goal this could be. Another sensational goal pending. Darren has a shot on his right straight at the keeper. Pretty straightforward save. That would have been a very, very good goal. Let's have a look at it from behind the goal. So pull over the far side and I think Romeo, his name is for Park Life, is probably the best player on the day. He's looking for the run of one of the strikers, but it's cleared up by Danny. Darren turns on the ball and he's going to drive forward here. He's in behind the right back. He gets across into the box and it's Todd with a free header and he's headed that straight at the keeper. That's another good chance that goes begging for us. Credit to the keeper in the right spot, but if you're Todd, you've got to be scoring that. He's got a very good record for us and he knows himself. You can see there. Hand in his head, head in his hands. It's a goal kick here for Park Life on the 35th minute. And the header is going to be won by Mons. It's going to be cleared up there by Lewis, who plays it into Darren, who's once again in behind the defence. He puts this one across the face of goal. This time, Todd is at the back post. Makes no mistake. Meets it on a half volley. Puts it into the back of the net. Fantastic ball by Darren. And Todd has put it away. Let's have a look at it from this angle. This was a superb cross. And Todd, once again, losing his marker. This time, puts it into the back of the net on the half volley. And it's 2-0 to the cons. Dan, show me your best impression of Joe. Thanks, mate. Darren on the ball and he comes forward with it and he switches it out into the feet of Drage. Drage pressed by the number five, tries to step on the ball, doesn't work out well, but he does get away from him. He reverses this one into the feet of Joel. Joel plays it to Dan. Dan plays it out to Aiden. This is good from us. Yeah, again, Aiden gets across into the box. What a lovely ball that is and what a finish that is by Joel. Great ball by Aiden. Fantastic header by Joel. However, Linus put his flag up. Let's have another look. As Aiden goes to cross this one, that guy's keeping Joe on side and this guy's possibly keeping Joe on side as well. Let's just appreciate the header. What a header that is, by the way. But he's been snaked by the liner. Should be free, but it's not. So we go again. Meanwhile, the sideline respects Romeo. 
Respect that, bro. That was bad. That was, that, that was, was very good, bro. <laughs> I said, Romeo, Dante. DC, spread it. When you complete your football life. Alright, boys, it's good off. I think it took us a little bit to get used to it. Obviously, they've got, they've got the three in the midfield, but the net number 11 is massively cheating and trying to create an overload. They'll have the other two midfielders in the centre. Just one of the three midfielders just going to address that. The other two will, will keep the other two in there, that's fine. And then he hasn't got the quality to do anything when there's anyone near him anyway. Get on, we're caught, we're caught between sort of playing and going long all the time. When actually we've carved them apart quite a few times as well. So we can, we can be confident and play a bit more. Um, obviously, it's easy to say, but make the decision as you're playing. If it's there, then be comfortable to play it. If, if it's not there, then obviously look to get off some yardage off the pitch and we'll, we'll look to pick up the seconds and play off that. Um, but other than that, I think we could be 3, 4, 5 up. Just stay stay alert at the back. They haven't caused us any real threat, but movement is okay-ish. So just keep keep your head switched on. And um, we've got a comfortable, we'll get a couple more goals second half. We'll, I'm predicting a 4 5 here, but we shall see. We are currently on the lookout for a front of shirt sponsor for this season. Your logo would go at the front of our home kit, as you can see there in the picture. If you or anybody you know are interested in getting involved with grassroots football, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can find us through any of our socials and we will get back to you. And just before we get the second half on the way, I want to take a second to thank our partners, Gains and Glory. If you're looking to get into fitness, build muscle, whatever it is, regardless of your level, whether you're a beginner or whether you're very advanced, get in touch. He can help you. Believe me, he's done wonders for a lot of our players. And of course, the Selk Grassroots Podcast. The podcast covers 17 active leagues, not just men's, women as well. So make sure you check the Selk Podcast on Spotify and SoundCloud to keep up to date with all things grassroots football. So overall, I think we're quite happy with how the first half went, but get ready to witness the worst kickoff of all time. Todd, when Aiden plays this back to you, always remember that you need to close them. Second half started, one minute in, we get our first chance. Crossed by Darren, Dan, slightly heavy first touch. It's good defending again by Rob Holden. So 49 minutes on the clock and I'm questioning Joe and the fact that he said he's never played left back before. He does brilliantly well there, plays it into Dan. Dan slides this one through to Todd. Todd with just a keeper to beat. Oh my days. Corner for us over the far side then it's going to be an in-swinger from Darren. And the ball is headed out, but only as far as Darren. Again, actually, he's not going to take a touch. He's going to put it in first time and Dan is going to... Lose out on the header to the defender, but Joe is there doing what Joe does at this point. He plays it out wide to Drage. Good first touch to get away from the number five. Cuts it into the box, but Aiden's leggings are way too tight. The blood circulation has been cut off, not allowing him to generate any power. Dan just sends this one wide. Romeo on the ball for Parklife over the far side. He plays it forward into that guy and he tries to get across into the box, but it goes all the way through to Fash and Fash is going to kick this one out. Drage lets this one run through into the feet of Todd, who is allowed to turn by the defender. He's driving into the box here. He cuts inside and he lays this one off into Drage. Drage with his left. I'll tell you what, that's a fantastic save by the keeper. Let's have a look at it from behind the goal because this is a very, very good save. It's a throw on this near side. Joe throws it to Dan, but Dan... Gives it away there to this fella. He plays it forward looking for the number nine. I'm not too sure what happened there. But the ball's going to end up here with Monts. And he's going to switch it out wide into the feet of Danny. Danny's going to play it forward to Darren. Darren is up against the number three. Darren allowed space there. Gets across into the box and is flicked on by Drage. And it's Dan at the back post. And he's put it through the keeper's leg. And that is free. And surely, surely that is game done. Darren, who's been playing well the whole game, gets across into the box. Drage with the presence in mind to flick that one on to Dan at the back post. Player on the line, can't block it. And in the meantime, Dan tells the keeper to close them. Yeah. Oh yes, Darren! Keep running! 
So it's a throw for us over the far side. Then Darren's going to take it to Lewis. Lewis is going to set it back to Darren. Darren's going to play inside to Aiden. Aiden with a lovely turn away from the Park Life player. Aiden sets it off to Joe. Joe's going to play this one inside into the feet of Dan, who's going to play it out wide to Darren. And you know what? Mr. Michael Joyce, next time you see your son, do me a favor, beat him. Oh my God! Oh, 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 there he is. Whilst Dre just complaining that no one wants to set him up, Park Life over the far side come forward and it's the defender getting forward here. He cuts inside, he gets a shot, but it's saved easily by Fash. And Fash is going to look to get this one on the way early and he kicks this one to Todd. Number five has missed it. Hold on. Now, a few moments ago, I asked a Mr. Michael Joyce to beat his son next time he saw him. So just in case there's any confusion, that is Todd's dad. I know he watches the video. So Mr. Michael or Mr. Joyce, next time you see him, beat him twice. Dan on the ball over the far side. Lewis in support out wide. Dan chooses to come back and play it into the feet of Terry. Terry plays it back to Dan. Dan is going to be allowed to turn and he plays it inside to Darren. Darren's going to tell this guy to close them. Free kick over the far side, undoubtedly given away by Terry. The ball's going to end up here at the edge of the box. It's hit. It's a miss hit, but that could have looped over Fash. Todd on the ball on this near side and he lays this one off to Dan. Dan easily goes past the number two, comes inside. Dan is not a diving guy, by the way, and I know this is a hard decision, but I only left this one in for Dan himself. You can see there, the defender's knee clips Dan's shin. Dan goes down. No pen, though, but it is what it is. Meanwhile, Darren over the far side is going to cut this one to the edge of the box into Drage. Drage plays it to Todd. Todd plays it to Dan. All he's got to do is shoot. For some reason, he passes to Drage. Drage takes a touch, comes inside, toe punts it straight at the keeper. You man are taking a piss. Park life on the ball as they look to get something back in this game. If they're going to get back in this game, they're going to need a goal very, very soon. And the skipper is going to play out wide to this side. You can see Joe chasing there. Number 12 goes down. Referee says no. And they see Hugo on the ball looking like he had his Christmas dinner early. And it's not digested yet. He plays a fantastic ball over the top though into Drage who's in behind the number five. He cuts inside. He has a shot. It's too weak and it's saved by the keeper with his feet. Darren over the far side going past his defender. Defender does well to recover to be fair. Darren cuts inside and he switches it over this side. Look at that. Fantastic hard work by Joe. That's what left back outpacing everyone. The ball ends up with Dan. Dan lays it off to Darren. Darren lifts it over the keeper and it's cleared off the line by the Park Life defender. Very good defending there by that man. Darren going for the old school scoop. Let's have a look. And it's brilliantly cleared off the line by his knee. Well done, number 22. Good defending. Terry on the ball. Plays out wide to Danny. Danny gets across into the box and it's Aiden with a header. Park life coming forward here. 78 minutes on the clock. Nearly 79. And Romeo looking for a ball in behind Terry. He finds the number 22 with a very good pass. Number 22 looking to get Terry into the penalty area here. Terry presses him. The ball ends up here with the number three. He has a shot, but that one isn't going to trouble Fash. Park life throw over the far side. Number 22 controls it. He's allowed to turn and he's going to tell Terry to close them. <laughs> 82 minutes and Park life seen a bit more of the ball. And they play it forward into the skipper who turns. And he's going to drive forward here. And he's going to play it into this winger. Lively to be fair. He's brushed off by Hugo. Using all of his Christmas weight. 
and he's going to switch this one over into the feet of Sammy who's going to take a first touch inside and lay it off to Dan and Dan here plays it through to Todd surely this time Shout out the couple behind the goal there, picking up our GoPro. Thank you very much. Fash plays it long. Ball bounces. Todd flicks it onto Sammy. Sammy in behind here. Camera will catch up in a second. Does a step over. Goes past this guy. Reverses it. Is hit the post. Someone's lost the shin pad. Dan on the follow up. Blasts it over. Unlucky there by Sammy. Park life on the ball. And it's the defender playing the ball through Dan and Drage. But. That man's there yet again, Joe. Whoa. What was that? Free kick for the cons. Dredge steps up. In a cold day, you do not want to be getting hit by the ball like that. Brave defending on the wall. Jon Snow would be proud. So 90 on the clock. And the referee is going to blow the full-time whistle. And we've come out victorious against Parklife's first team by four goals to nil. We've bounced back from our defeat last week. Let's have a look at how the Frank Blunston Cup Group C league table looks. There you see we've got a healthy goal difference of 12 and six points on the board. We've already played Lazio who are currently in second. And our next fixture is against Albion. So I think it's safe to say because of the goal difference we are through to the next round the knockout rounds all important thank you for joining us again if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give us a like leave a comment down below follow us on instagram follow us on twitter and we'll see you guys next week